not just beating the national record, but we're talking about putting it on a whole new level on another planet right now. The only person who's gonna be able to break this record next year is her. This is unbelievable. Everyone is on their feet right now. This is truly historic. Let's go! If you saw my pain face, that was the, the New York grit. NC State's special because of the people, from teammates to staff to the fans and the, the students. It's just everyone kind of buys into that, that PAC mentality, and PAC really does mean family at NC State. It's not just something they say, it's, it's definitely you feel it on a day-to-day -day basis. So. It's really special to be part of the family at NC State. I'm the only daughter of three children. I have an older and younger brother. I think my parents growing up just like never like let us win. Like brothers just like playing Connect Four with my mom or soccer with my dad outside. Like they always like pushed me to like be my best and they would never like let me win easily because they wanted me to, you know, like strive to be my best self and have to work towards success so having two brothers and being the only girl like I kind of had to be a, a little extra tough to keep up with them. Consider the record books rewritten. In high school I was a pretty good runner and I won the Gatorade National Player of the Year a few times in cross country and once in track um, and then the Gatorade Athlete of the Year award. Running did give me like so many opportunities with like the Gatorade award they give you a grant to donate to like a local sports charity, so I got to give back to the community. In high school, I was a pretty good runner and had the opportunity to look at a bunch of different schools, and at the end, I chose NT State because I knew I'd be the happiest here, so um, it's been the best decision of my life so far. I think our team really does have something special. Um, we really do try to like push each other at practice and we support each other and we do like such a good job of helping each other versus like competing against each other at practice and lifting each other up. So I think just having like that team support and like support from the coaches and the staff really just sets us apart from everyone else. I would say about a year ago indoor NCAAs um, was kind of like a breakout race for me. I was um, runner-up in both the 3K and 5K, and then I kind of just like took off from there. Won my first individual national title in the 5K in spring, and then just carried the momentum forward, and we won the team title again in cross country, so that was back-to-back, -back, and I won the individual title. Um, and indoor track kind of just broke a few records. I broke the mile collegiate record, and then two weeks later, I broke the 3,000 meter collegiate record. The cross country national championship was probably I think the best race I've ever had just because like I was like so far back and if I was in that position a few years ago I don't think I would have had the confidence to make a move to try to catch um, Parker who is the girl in front of me we were I was going in with the priority being the team title so I knew if I went out with Parker at a hot pace there was a chance I could have faded and got passed by a few people so I waited to about halfway through the race and I was like all right I'm feeling good she has a big gap, but I know I'm guaranteed that one point for NC State, so now it's kind of like, all right, see what you can do on the individual side. So there's like this sharp turn up a hill, and I was like, all right, this is my opportunity. So once I caught her, I kind of just like, I guess blow past her was what I was thinking in my head and try to like knock her confidence down. It kind of just gave it everything I had on that that last straight away. Caitlin Tui, she's going to come through and be the individual champ for the 2022 Cross Country Championship. 2024 is coming up. It's, it's in a year's time, so making Olympic team is definitely like the gold standard. It's uh, one of the biggest goals I have. It's something you dream about as a kid. NC State is, would definitely play a big role in me getting to that line and kind of taking my shot at becoming an Olympian.